very excited for our next film to talk about, an oversimplification of her beauty. We're going to be talking with director, producer, writer, he's got all the titles, Terrence Nance, and also the star of the show, Namik Minter. You guys, thanks for being in here. How are you? Thanks for having us. Good. Well, uh, we're happy to have you. And this is an intriguing story, and also when, uh, we're going to show the trailer here in just a little bit, uh, but to see how you tie in animation also with the storyline. Now, let's let's set it up. Uh, Namik, you are actually the girl of Terrence's dream, and you ditched him, I hear. And well, he decided to well, make a movie about it. Sort of. Ditch is a very strong <laughs> word, but there was something that happened that spurned him to want to create a lovely film. So what happened? You guys were going out on a date, and she didn't show, and you decided it's, to start writing it. It's very complex. A, so, okay, so fill us in. So you had, to, you had to kind of watch the movie to get the whole story, but to summarize, basically, you know, I expected us to meet up one night um, at my house. We used to work together. Um, we used to have a t-shirt line. Oh, cool. And uh, we used to design t-shirts together. So one, one night we were going to, do, going to do that, and I went home, you know, very much so looking forward to seeing her. <laughs> and I called, and she, you know, she ha thought it was another night, or it was just a misunderstanding, so. Yeah, we won't ask all the reasons why you did it, so. <laughs> we won't get into that. It's a whole other story. Okay, good. Story, yeah. But yeah. you end up, so she doesn't show up for the date, and you start jotting down thoughts, which you thought would end up being a short film, yeah. and it turns into a feature. Exactly. I, mean, I really thought it would be five minutes long. Um, that actual first short film, film ended up being about 40 minutes long. It's not so um, much of a short film. <laughs> yeah, no, not so short. Um, but then, you know, of course, um, after I finished it, I kind of decided that the whole story wasn't told. So I started to include the animation and different pieces that we filmed together after that. Well, let's go into that. Give us the storyline uh, more so than what we've talked about and also how you're tying in the animation because you didn't originally include the animation, but mm -hmm. going back a second time, you decided to. Yeah, so the film is about, um, the, the, the feature film is about the short film and the creation of it and our relationship in that context. Um, so I wanted to document, you know, what was going on between us from my point of view. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that content that is documented is dreams or letters that I wrote or letters that she wrote or, you know, kind of things that you can't film or if you filmed it, it would be kind of banal. So I included the animation to give voice to those those moments, those inner realities, those those dreams, those mm -hmm. those moments that you can't put on camera necessarily. So it started out as probably a, plato a platonic relationship between the two of you at work, and it evolved into something else, and you thought you'd put it into a film, and here we go. Now, as a star of the show, I think it will uh, show off best if we show the clip, and then we'll sure. come back and talk to you guys a little bit about it. Uh, is it just a trailer that we're going to be showing? I think it's going to be a clip from the movie. Um, and to put it in context, you know, there was a book that I read during the... Uh, you know when all this was going on mm -hmm. and um, it reminded me a lot of our relationship and I, ha I showed it to her um, and had her read it it kind of explores that moment of reading that book all right well here's a clip from an oversimplification of her beauty talk to you how was it to take your relationship between the two of you and put it on the camera <laughs> Um, That's a, I mean, that can be a scary thing. It was, it, was, big step. it was always a little bit awkward to like know that you're playing a version of yourself that yeah. you don't really have full control over, but you're kind of down for the vision. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it was fun, exciting, awkward. And you haven't ditched him <laughs> since, right? Since that first time? No, well, we're Things very are good. good friends Things now. Are we're <laughs> very good friends. <laughs> watch the movie. I feel yeah, like this is going to go all another level if we kept on going with the relationship yeah, of all this. Yeah. So very excited. This is your first film, uh, and of course you're getting into Sundance, which you, you know he's going. Yeah, people are telling me, oh, you're so lucky. Oh, that's exciting, and he's just kind of like, yeah, I guess so. No, you should. Be, <laughs> you're you're doing great. This is an awesome place to start. You're going to be screening tonight at the Egyptian Theater. Give him yeah. time. 9 p.m. Egyptian Theater um, on Main Street. Um, yeah, the premiere, world premiere. Nobody's seen it. Awesome. So That's there. so exciting. So what's next? You gonna do something yeah, next you know, year maybe? Or other, take other a little movies, break? Other movies. No, de definitely no break. But you know, got other movies coming. You know, I'm, I'm also a musician. We just performed oh, nice. here at the uh, ASCAP Music Cafe. We have another performance this afternoon. So you know, the the, the, the movie has a music component. So when it's released you know, that will come out as well. So, you know, building that and is also going to happen in the coming year. Multi-talented. Well, you guys have both been so fun to talk to. Thanks, Thank you guys, you. for coming in. We appreciate it. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. All right, stick with us. We've got more films coming up right after this.